Hey guys, thanks for coming back and checking out this video. I wanted to go ahead and go over my top five new base locations for the aberration map that just came out with Ark. So here's a couple of things. I didn't want to build in radiation. I didn't want to build in that weird pollen stuff that makes you kind of hallucinate a little bit. This is just going to be if you spawn back in, brand new character, however it is, you're not going to die instantly, right? So um, this is going to be from smallest, meaning solo players, duo players, up to the biggest top five bases. Here we go. Check it out. All right, guys, so this is going to be my number five on the list. Uh, what we have here is a couple of little ledges. Um, as you can see, this is at about 4768. There's actually quite a few of these ledges. They're very, very good for going to be for solo, duo players. Uh, what you're looking at is very, very close ceiling. Remember, aberration, people can climb all over things. So you're going to want to limit as much of this exposure as you possibly can, and you don't want to be trolled, right? So little areas, tiny spots where you can build up, very, very small, very secluded, and you should be good to go. Uh, this is going to be one of your better spots for solo and duo players. And as you can see, there's plenty of resources, metal, wood, water, whatever you guys are going to need. This is going to be a good spot for that. All right, guys, so this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit bigger and it does have access to actually walk up here. There's actually a couple of these around the map here. They have a lot of metal around. There's a little bit of wood. There's some stone down below. The best part about this area is just how hard it actually is to get to. There is, as I said, like this one specifically, there's only one land access. It's pretty easy to defend. You can probably do it with, you know, two, three, four guys. Um, these are going to be better for those smaller groups. There's quite a few of them around the map or over here, like you, like you can see here. Um, it's actually going to be pretty close to the next one that you'll see in the next video, uh, which will be this one here. All right, guys, this one's going to be a lot bigger than the last one. This is going to be for your medium sized tribe. I'm going to recommend anywhere from 10 to 15 guys. You got a lot more land mass, which means you have a lot more storage room here. Uh, there's still a lot of those resources we talked about before. There's actually a ton of metal in this area, but again, it's going to be a really, really good one if you want to go ahead and get a lot of people into a smaller area. And it's still really, really easy to defend. You've got a lot of not very many land access points. And you got some random dinos to spawn up here as well. So uh, this is going to be a good medium sized group. All right, guys, here we go. Here's number two. In this spot, I'm going to recommend no less than 20 people. This is a very, very big area. As you'll see, you've got a lot of resources. You've got a lot of metal. You've got a lot of stone, wood. You've got a lot of water right down below you. I also noticed a couple of random resources around here. I saw some of the crystals. Again, still new to the map just like you guys are, so I don't know exactly what those are. Same with that little structure there. Not 100% sure what that is. I don't think it has anything to do with the actual map itself. But you only have two defensive points left and right. You also have a couple of other resources like gas right here. Tried to mine it just to see exactly what it was, but I wasn't able to. I'm sure there's probably some sort of mining machine, something similar to that, but another really good spot here. All right, last but not least, we have the last spot on our list here. This one's gonna be a little bit controversial. It's at 4227, yep. It's gonna be the spawn point for the gate. The reason I chose this spot is because it's probably one of the easiest slash biggest spots on the map to defend. What I mean by that is if you look here, we only have a couple of spots that you actually have to put up fortresses. This is probably gonna be a mega, mega tribe spot. And if you think about it, mega tribes should be able to put up towers. They should be able to put up walls very, very easily. I'm counting roughly about six to eight spots you're gonna have to defend. But in reality, this is a very, very big cave and very, very easy to defend. You got a lot of resources. It's a good, easy spot to get in and out of. Um, you'll be able to store a lot of dinos here, guys. This is going to be a really, really great spot for mega tribes. And there's a lot of resources here. You've got the crystals, you've got the nodes, you've got tons and tons of stuff. This is an amazing spot for mega tribes. All right, guys, this wouldn't be a top five video without some bonus footage -ish for you. So I've gone ahead and created my own little base location here for you. It's this pretty secret little spot. It's really, really good. Remember, we're playing Aberration, new map, new builds, new customizations here. They've gone ahead and given us some pretty cool tools here. And the fact that they've given us these stone platforms, you can put them right on the side of cliffs. There's a lot of areas you can't place them. Down here, you can't place anything, not even structures. So this is very, very hidden, very easy to defend, very, very covered. They were very difficult to also place up here. So you'll have to be careful and trying to position them but once you've got them up here you're set you're good to go no one's going to get up here and mess with you just like that what you saw there it's very very hard for me to even place those three so get out there enjoy have some fun have some fun playing aberration guys good luck